Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie, and I am about to sit down and watch The Fly. This is another one that I am surprised that I have not seen yet. I have obviously heard about this film. I know it is about a scientist who does some experiments and manages to turn himself into a fly. That's all I really know about it. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see this one. I know it's another pretty, like, classic film uh and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and sit down and watch it and I'll let you know my thoughts where our greatest creations meet our deepest fears something went wrong seth when you went through something went wrong okay guys so just finished with watching the fly and I thought it was okay. Um, to be honest, I didn't love it. I knew going in that I was gonna have some cheese factor with it. I enjoyed kind of the first bit of it. Um, I think the buildup for me was the most entertaining part. Uh, once he actually started like transforming into a fly, I just I found it kind of boring, which I know is weird. Um, cause that's like the whole point of the movie and don't get me wrong, like the FX and the graphics for the film were great. They did a really good job with making him like ugly and transforming him into the fly. I just personally didn't jam with it. I also didn't like the, like how quickly the two main characters re relationship started to form, um, into like romantic. I mean, I guess I get it and I had to like speed the story along. And, you know, he, it's what pushed him to get into the pod and, like, and have that happen. But it just bothered me because she is a journalist. Like, she is there to be a professional. And don't get me wrong, like, I'm sure stuff like that happens. I'm sure journalists and their subjects fall in love. I'm sure it does happen, but it just... Mm. It just bothered me how like quickly it happened and the fact that she's, I mean, if you're like a journalist and you were sleeping with your subject, like you, that can tamper or even like compromise the story and like the legitimacy of it to some people. Um, not that it has to, I think people can look at things from an objective standpoint. I just, I don't know, it just, <laughs> I'm like, that's so unprofessional. It just seemed like she was there to do a professional job. Um, but I mean, I guess you, she was also previously dating her editor, but, but she did say that they met, I guess, in college, and that was more on him. And also what they did with his character. I was not a fan of the fact that by the end of the film, he's kind of like a bit of a hero. Um, he like helps her and shit and all of a sudden, all of a sudden they're cool. Like you're just supposed to forget the fact that he like fucking stalked her. I know they lived together and he had a key, but like you don't just like come to the person the apartment just because you have the key and, and fucking like show up. And then he like stalked her at a store and was horrible to her. And well, I'm just so supposed to forget that he was like a complete douchebag. Anyway, I'm also just not a fan of the whole, like, pregnancy storyline. I just felt like, even, even though I didn't mind the romance story of it, I just felt like they were pushing all of that too much. Um, and, yeah, it just kind of bothered me. I just, I don't know, I just wasn't a big fan of this film. Didn't really do anything for me. I don't think that it's necessarily a... You know horror must watch uh though again i do highly highly appreciate the fx of this um and i'm sure there was like and no doubt that there was so much work put into all of that uh and that part was really good you guys <laughs> I'm sure you understand by now how much i appreciate that kind of stuff um so i did really enjoy it. those aspects of it but it's not the film for me just didn't jam with it so let me know what your thoughts on The Fly. I do know that this is a remake. Um, maybe I'll have to check out the original at some point. I don't know. But let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. If you did enjoy this, please do give a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button for more 
for our latest content. Before I go, a quick shout out to my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for helping to contribute to the channel. If you want to know the perks to being a Patreon, links are links are in the description below along with all of my other social media and i will see you guys again tomorrow with another video bye